it's great to be back. When we first came and met you, with you sat here in coats and under blankets working from home, <laughs> was sort of like, ah, this is why you need to retrofit it. We knew it would be a big project to renovate and the renovation was sort of wanted to integrate some energy efficiency aspects to it. So we spoke to yourself and you were by far the most eager. It was our first venture into doing certified passive house. It became my case study to get my part three and actually become Charters. And you were the first architects to point out that this was cross-wall construction? Yeah, Dave and I came out. I just remember him walking up the drive and going, oh, well, it's cross-wall. Well, we'll just replace the infill curtain walls. And yeah, your first retrofit. That's right, yeah. As soon as you look at the house, you think this is ideal for an NFIT conversion. The age of the house and the simplicity of, you know, the form of it. But it was very dark. So I think our design driver was obviously make it a lot more efficient, but try and increase the amount of natural light throughout. Adding on the sort of box to the end, just to give you that extra bit of flexible living space. The floor was definitely the trigger point for, are we gonna try and push for Enifit Plus? It's a lot of work, but it's not an insurmountable problem. Issues with old roof construction, nothing being straight or plumb. In hindsight, it would have been easier to replace it. <laughs> What's made this project more striking, with it being in the conservation area, is that you do have the whole front pitch as a solar array, and everyone knows it. The really nice thing about passive house process, from my point of view, is traditionally on a build, the client would just think about what the building looks like and a little bit about how it functions, but it invites a lot more curiosity. As a client, you can actually be aware of what goes into the building, what's inside the walls, and I think that leads to better results. I'm working away on the video call in t-shirts. At various times I've got colleagues under quilts with woolly hats and fingerless gloves through to working in the garden in the shade because it's cooler than that indoors but I can work in here in comfort. It goes to show what you can do with a lot of building stock of this age. 